who is Jesus? The whole book of the Gospel of Mark has been working its way up to this question, the first eight chapters, and now we're going to read it. Let's see what it says. So we're reading today from Mark at 8, verse 27 to 30. Now Jesus and his disciples went out to the towns of Caesarea Philippi, and on the road he asked his disciples, saying to them, Who do men say that I am? So they answered, John the Baptist, but some say Elijah and others, one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter answered and said to him, You are the Christ. Then he strictly warned them that they should tell no one about him. So there it is, the question. Who is Jesus? And that is the ultimate question. It must be. The first half of the Gospel of Mark has been leading up to exactly this question. Who is Jesus? And finally, after Jesus has completed this circuit, this uh, turn to the north, and now he's heading back into Israel, now he asks his question to his disciples. Who do men say that I am? He's, he's drawing them out, as he usually is. So he asks this ultimate question, and it is the ultimate question. Who is Jesus? With postmodern thought uh, rolling through the world today, it becomes a silly question. It doesn't even, it's not even a relevant or a possible question. Since there is no ultimate truth, supposedly, there can be no questions of ultimate truth. There can be no truth. And so... Uh, any such question is rendered silly. Are you the whatever? No, nobody is the whatever because there is no ultimate truth. Just your truth, my truth, and the cat's truth. That's all there is. So then all you have are questions with no ultimate answers. And of course, I noticed today there's a lot of dialogue. We want to have dialogue. We want to discuss things, and, but we never seem to want to come to a resolution. And so there cannot be. If, if everything is up for grabs all the time, there is no ultimate solution. There is no ultimate answer. But Jesus nevertheless asks his disciples the question, Who am I? That's the critical question. But if God made us in his image, if he gave us free will, if he gave us all these things, and if he came to this world to die for man, then there, there is an ultimate question. There is. He gave us a moral side to us, just like he has, made us moral beings. So yes, there, is, there are ultimate questions. There is an ultimate question and an ultimate answer. And that is, who is Jesus? And what do I do about it? How do I respond to that? If Jesus is God who came into humanity, came into human flesh, took a body and died on the cross for us, then we need to answer the question. It's not escapable. You can't go around it. You have to come to some resolution about who he is. Is he a crazy person? Is he a bizarre person? Uh, fluke in history, or is he God come in human flesh to redeem us, to, to save us? Who is he? An ultimate question. So is Jesus the Christ, or is he not? You have to decide where you stand with that question. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we thank you today that Jesus came into this world, came into his own creation, and was willing to be sacrificed for us. That does create a dilemma for us. We must choose about Jesus. And you've given us a book so that we can find out what you wanted to reveal to us, what it was like, what Jesus did, what is Jesus in your kingdom all about. So Lord, our, our prayer goes to you today that you will give us an insight and help us to make the right decision to choose Jesus, to choose you now while well, there is still a moment to choose. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So there's the ultimate question. Have you taken your stand for Christ? Have you accepted him? Are you ready to, every day, find out what your king's will is and to live that out? Because, you know, he's either your king or he's not. What will you choose? God be with you today. As you're thinking on this question. The first half of the Gospel of Mark has brought us to this very place. And now the question might be for some who are listening. Is Jesus who the Bible says he is or is he not? God be with you.